I don't know how you feel this morning, but I, I feel uh, so out of place. I feel out of water. Uh, we've come to live in some very serious days in our lives. Serious times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This morning, I want to just remember in, in prayer the families of the two slain officers. Superintendent Leon Clunas and his crew and the entire Jamaica Constabulary Force. I've heard so much negatives, man. It drives me crazy. <laughs> People are blaming the police because they didn't do this, they didn't do that. Others are blaming the commissioner of police because he didn't do that or didn't. It's no time to blame right now, man. This is the time we gotta come together because we have to come together now so we can help fight the impending doom that's lays ahead of us. I, I so respect the policemen, I mean, police officers who have dedicated their lives and their time, their energy and everything to protect us while we're asleep. It's sad. We've come to live in a day and age where people are defending and commending criminals harboring and rewarding criminality failure to report but aid and support illegal activities serious times i, I want to take the time today just looking at uh, what happened a few days ago uh, the police got information and it was rightly so they were a car on target but the things that they were not expecting do happen Yes, and so we lost two of our dedicated officers and uh, others were injured and our prayers are with them. What happened to the rest of the police officers? Be very careful what you say because whatever we say can either encourage or discourage them. Our officers need the motivation. They are human beings like everybody else. They are called to crime scenes. They are called to domestic violence areas. They are, they are called to so much disruption and we if we're not careful you give rise to the destruction of Jamaica and to those who breach and try to destroy our national security so today I just want to salute the Commissioner of Police Major General Anderson and his team I want to say hi to the uh, national security minister and uh, i really want to thank god for the prime minister we have that continues to give support any area you call him in he's there i watched him how he responded at that conference with the commissioner he allowed the commissioner of police to talk because he's prime minister he's over jamaica the commissioner is over the police and at no time he ever said to the commissioner you know you 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 don't have this let, let me let me let me take it over He's, he's, he's so committed and so professional that he says, sir, um, this is the situation and uh, you take it from here. And the commissioner said what he had to say. And you watch the commissioner in the media. They're trying to drown the commissioner uh, with all this information. The commissioner wasn't there. Everything he has to talk to his officers to see exactly what happened, what did they put in place, what did they not put in place. And at this point in time, there are some things you cannot say in public. You have to ensure that you do it when the time is right. Otherwise, the criminals will stay right there and listen to where they went short, where they went down, where they made a mistake. And the next time, they can activate it. Wise commissioner, smart commissioner. There are some things we consider to be elements of surprise. And I really want to wish Jamaica God's blessings. If you see something, say something. Our silence is an indication that criminality will never stop. You think the commissioner of police is the reason why we got so much crimes in Jamaica? Hell no. The reason we have got so much crime in Jamaica is people's silence. A lot of kids grew up without fathers. The breakdown of families. No love, no affection, no relationship. So they got no respect. You watch how they treat people in school. Teachers are afraid to teach students. Why? Because it's the same schools that helps to promulgate crime. 
And we blame the teachers when they're not learning. We blame the Ministry of Education. We blame the national security. But guess what? If the criminals kill police, oh man, too bad for the police. But when the police kills the criminal, <laughs> that's where the challenge comes in. They block the road and they blame the police when they know very well who the criminals are. You can't win. <laughs> Poor police officers, when they go out there, they have to think first before they fire. They have to think. Because if they kill someone, in the come. <laughs> if they don't, here you are. The criminals are coming back. You can't win. Uh, but so what are the things that are going to help us to be better off today? What is it? Crime is going to be everybody's problem. Hurt one, hurt all. One man's pain, everybody's pain. And I pray by the grace of God that this has taught us something. It didn't only teach the police uh, about, you know, when you're going to do another operation, how you go ahead and do it and want to make sure you have the right team together and the right gears and, and everything. Everybody must learn from this, must learn from this. The criminals are endangering the lives of citizens everywhere, every day. They watch you. Be careful how you operate. Be careful what you say. Be careful where you go. Be careful what you do. You have no idea who is in your neighborhood. You have no idea who is around you. And not everybody who looks good from far, some of them are far from good. Prime Minister, National Security Minister, Commissioner of Police, Chief of Staff of the JDF, police officers and soldiers, citizens of Jamaica, let's work together. Let's repair the confidence that uh, people need to have in the police. Let's prepare our children who are coming to know that they are coming into a Jamaica that can be changed. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you from the diaspora, from here in Florida. I believe in Jamaica. I believe in our authorities. I believe in our police officers. I believe in our administration. I believe in our government. God bless you.